base. We're at 216. Stay frosty, guys. We've got a lot of eggs. Oh, Roger. That's a 216. Let's clear them out. All right, Hicks, Hudson, use your motion tracker. Motion tracker. We're getting closer, guys. Here they come. Let's run! No! Hey guys, Video Game Viewer here with a review of Alien vs. Predator for the Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, and the PC. I have to say I am having a blast with this game. I've played all three campaigns. I have not beat them yet. Um, I gotta say I'm like a kid in a candy store with this game. I started out playing as the Marine and 15 minutes later I was switching to the Predator and then the Alien and then back to the Predator. So it is a little overwhelming at first. You kind of want to play as all three, but uh, right now I'm trying to push myself through the Predator campaign. I'm about uh, halfway through. So uh, let's jump right into it. Let's talk about the storyline a little bit. Um, there's not much of a storyline to this game, but do you really care? You want to play as the Predator and the Alien to be really badass. Um, but anyway, there is a storyline. The storyline is Wayland Utani Corporation is on the planet. I have no idea. But what they're doing there is they are growing um, aliens or harvesting aliens, trying to breed them for warfare, and they're only keeping like the best ones or something like that. Uh, you, as the predator, being the enemy of the aliens, don't think this is such a good idea, so you go down to the planet to try to stop these scientists from doing this and destroying their factory that's making all these aliens. And the aliens are basically just there after they escape to bite the backs of people's heads off. That's the storyline. Uh, the graphics in this game could have used a little bit more time in development, I have to say, but uh, they're, they're still not bad. They're not on par with first-person shooters like Modern Warfare, per se. But uh, they are really good. The controls for each characters all feel a bit different. And I have to say, the Predator and the Alien uh, have a little bit of a learning curve where uh, the Marine is just like a basic first-person shooter. The only thing that sucks is you can't crouch or get behind cover, which that really stinks. The Alien has more of a learning curve than the Predator, I would say. Uh, running on ceilings, doing the transition, but in about 15 minutes into the game you're going to get used to it and it's really cool to sneak up behind somebody and rip their throat out. Same with the Predator. He's got all the tools from the movies, uh, you know, the shoulder cannon, the throwing disc, the heat vision, all that stuff. And the sound in this game is... Uh, let me explain. With Alien vs. Predator, this game, for every negative, there's a positive. And the negative to this game, in the way of sound, is the voice acting is very stale. It really just flat out stinks. But uh, I don't really care because the positive is the musical scores from both Alien the movie and Predator the movie are there. And... All the sound effects from the movies are also there, such as switching to your vision for the Predator, the aliens hiss, and the Marines motion tracker all bleeping and hissing. It all sounds awesome. The music sounds awesome. So if you're a big fan of the movie, that's a plus. Definitely recommend checking out this game. If you're expecting it to be like Alien vs. Predator, the movie, it's not. This game is actually good. So, I would definitely recommend, if you're a fan of the, the movies separately, just the Alien, the Predator, check out this game. I'm giving uh, this game a very fair review here. Um, and I have to say, this, the single player uh, it is fun, but where I had the most fun is with the multiplayer. And, uh, you know, the multiplayer has its standard modes, Team Deathmatch, Deathmatch, all that stuff, Domination, which is like Capture the Flag, I guess. But what really stood out is Predator Hunt, Infestation, and Survivor Mode. 
Now, infestation is where one player starts out as an alien, the rest are marines, and you have to run around, and for every time you kill a marine, he becomes an alien alongside with you. So the more marines you kill, the more aliens you have, and until it's just down to one marine. But if the marines can hold out, then they win the match. Predator hunt is just like it sounds. There's like 17 marines and one predator, and he's got to hunt them all down. If a marine manages to kill the predator, then that marine becomes the predator. In survivor mode, if you played Gears of War's horde mode, it's sort of like that. It's four players. Endless waves of aliens, and all you got to do is survive. It's really fun with your friends, and it gets really kind of hectic and really competitive. So, this game could have used a little bit more time in development, but there is fun to be had, especially if you're a fan of the movies, like I said. So, I definitely recommend checking out this game, guys. I'm giving it an 8.5 out of 10. This has been the Video Game Viewer. Thanks for watching.